welcome to the new week vlog. It's Tuesday today and today and the rest of this week will be all about sewing. I'm going to finish the unicorn quilt and I hope to start a new quilty project already because I have to finish some more projects for the book in the next two weeks. Yesterday we spent the day with my husband's family and my father-in-law built me something. You can see it in the background over here. I'm going to show you later today what it is exactly, but it's something he made for me and it's awesome. All the squares for the unicorn are in place. I think it's going to be a super cool quilt. So now it's time to start sewing. I made a lot of progress on the quilt today. So what I did today was connecting long rows of pixels. And they are all chain pieced. So as you can see here, all the rows are still connected. And that makes it super easy to uh, keep track of uh, where you are in the quilt when you're adding new blocks. And also to sew the rows together, this is a really easy method. Because they are already a little bit connected, you will always connect them in the right order. And then there's something else I need to show you. It's this display. My father-in-law built me a display for Yarn and Colors Minis. How cool is this? Tomorrow I'm going to fill the whole display, so I will show you then how it works exactly. But already... It a preview of the side of the box. That's the whole mechanism, so you can easily store this uh, display like a box. So when you collapse the display, then all the little balls of yarn will stay inside, and I can easily take it with me to craft first. So I'm very, very happy with this. And that is also the end of today. I made such a big progress on this quilt, so I think I can finish it tomorrow. It's Wednesday today and I'm already a set to finish the unicorn quilt today. I already pressed the rows of the quilt. Let me show you how I did that. The ironing I do in this way, that I iron the seams of each row to the same side and then the next row I go in the opposite direction. So when you then want to connect these two rows, you can snuggle up the seams like this. And that way you know that the corners of the pixels will be nicely aligned. So each row is pressed, going in opposite directions. And now it's time to start sewing. On my way to lunch, I just finished the unicorn halfway through, so I think one more hour and then it's uh, done. Oopsie, the 
unicorn is almost finished. Only one, two, three, four, five, six more rows to attach. Time to stitch up the final row of the quilt. I really like how fast of a project this was. Well, of course, I still have to add some details to the quilt and then uh, make a sandwich and quilt it through, but the quilt swap was pretty fast. And the final stitches. That's it. So let's give the quilt a nice press and then I put it back on the design board. Sometimes you have projects which you instantly love and this is definitely one of them. It turned out so perfectly like I imagined it in my head. Also the size that it is and uh, the colors. I really really like it. The next steps for this quilt will be adding some details with black fabric and then finding a suitable bedding because I would like this to be a play quilt so the bedding should be nice and thick and soft and I have to search for the right bedding for that hundred different colors of yarn and color mini. This is a really nice cotton yarn and it's available in my webshop. I'll put a link down below if you want to check them out. So uh, time to go home. Hi there, it's Thursday afternoon already. I didn't vlog this morning because I came in late in the studio and I'm taking it slow today. I did some administration work that also needs to be done when you have your own business. And now I am picking out fabrics. So this is what my cutting table looks like. It's a pretty mess of fabrics. The projects that I'm picking fabrics for are for the ones upon a pixel book. This is going to be one of the projects. And this is another one. But I'm not completely sure if those are the fabrics that I'm going to pick. So I hope I can make up my mind and then I can start cutting. So tomorrow will be another sewing day, I guess. And maybe on Saturday I also go into the studio to uh, do a bit more quilting. Hello! It's Friday today and I already had a busy morning. I wrote a blog post about uh, the Once Upon a Pixel book with some behind the scenes work in progress photos. So hop over to the blog if you want to uh, see that. And I did some administrative stuff and uh, cut some more pixels. And I just got a package in the mail. The 
these are some new Dua Pink Free Spirit fabrics that I ordered. Oh, I love them. Look at the details in this one. You have a little bug over there, and a mouse over here, and a bunny. How cool is that? And here we have a little bear. And in this one I really like the geometric shapes. I think I'm going to match some uh, solid fabrics with these colors to make a cool new quilt project. triangles for the next pixel project that I'm making and because it has a direction to it I have to pay attention uh, which way I'm going to use it I made this square and then I need an opposite one but you cannot make this with this uh, with the same squares so these ones I cannot use again because when I turn them in the right position fabric is the pattern is like this or when I turn them in this position you see that it's upside down compared to these two so just a lot of sewing and cutting and uh, a lot of leftovers Saturday and I'm back in the studio. I thought I would do a afternoon of cutting fabrics for the last project that I'm going to make for the book. But it turns out that I'm not so sure that I made up my mind. So this is on my cutting table. As you can see this project is going to be in pink. <laughs> and here we have a sneak preview of what it's going to be like. Well I decided why it is going to be the background. And then we need something for a skin color. I'm going to use this one. But then I need different shades of pink. Oh well. I guess I'll be sitting here for a bit longer, puzzling with all the pink fabrics. I hope I can make up my mind so I can start cutting later this afternoon. And uh, when I do pick fabrics, I will show you next week what the uh, project is going to look like. So that makes the end of this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions or things you would want to see in the vlogs, please let me know. And uh, give a thumbs up if you like this video and you can always subscribe to not miss any other videos. Then I'll see you next week! <laughs> <laughs>